Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are On, on the, the off -ramp. ramp. And in today's video, uh, we will be exploring some of the local hikes and local excursions that uh, Dashir has to offer. We've really found that going on the excursions has been a big taste of Tanzania. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's easy to come to Tanzania and, you know, <laughs> climb the mountains of Meru and Kilimanjaro and... Or go on a safari and see all the animals. Or head over to uh, Zanzibar and spend some time on the beach. But there's so much culture and so many other things to learn about. So, here at Tashir... Yeah, we really appreciate that Tashir Lodge and Safaris really does work hard to give you a taste of their country, of their community. And so the excursions are a vital part of what uh, Tashir Lodge and Safaris offers as well to their guests. So in today's video, yeah. we'll, we will be visiting a number of schools, uh, one very special school that we'll tell you more about as we see the video. Yeah, we go to an orphanage. Uh, we, we just, the local village we walk to. Yeah. And, um, and we also go visit uh, a Maasai museum and village. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're hoping that it'll show you more of the cultural aspects of Tanzania. Please subscribe, I'll leave a comment, I hit the like button so you can get more of them. And go back to our last video that gives you more features about Tashir Lodge and Safaris and what they have to offer. Kikwi is a short walk from Dashir, and what was great is that we got to see a bit of the village, the school, and we see the impact that the clinic that Dashir offers is to this community. Is he going to carry me? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to make it. You're going to make it. Gonna ah, gonna make it. it. Hey. Just right Three. I love being at school. When I was little, I loved to read and write. Oh, I loved it. Good morning. How are you? How old are you? How old am I? <laughs> <laughs> the country is Canada, the province is Manitoba. The School of St. Jude has a specific goal to take the poorest of poor, the smartest of those children, and give them a great opportunity for education and a future. Oh, yeah, like good. Samples, which I show other students. Like the sample which I used to show the student who created the best work, which we have seen. We've Okay. So she's a very talented artist, even more than me. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 So she's doing great. Growing. Okay. Form okay. four. Yeah, these are form four students. They are nearly to go to high school. Yeah, so they need their own art growing. And what you can see at the This one was the original one.
<laughs> Cradle of Love will take children from newborns till about two years old, and then they're either placed elsewhere, back in their home, or in a new home. They are loved and cared for. Uh oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are, I should say at the top of Kilimanjaro, but we are not. <laughs> we are at base camp, base camp height. Yeah. And that is the valley way down below. Climbing Kilimanjaro, coming yeah. down. <laughs> It was very interesting visiting this organization because their goal was to empower women to uh, help their families and also taking care of the elderly. That looks pretty good. Banana, banana, banana chips. Chips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You like chips. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way for a hike to a waterfall. What are you doing? I'm trying to take a slow shot. <laughs> Did you succeed enough? What's that? Did you succeed? Well, I got one. <laughs> I got one that was slow enough. Yeah? You want know, to make the water look like yeah. an angel here? Yeah. I'll be famous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show us your... So that's... So this is our avocado. Wow. It's still green in the inside, but it's black outside. Okay. <laughs> and this is from that tree specifically. There we go. And this huh? is... This is organic. Uh, this is organic. organic. Yes. That okay. takes seven years to grow yes. an avocado. Yes. Yeah, that's our kitchen. Wow, can I take a look? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Why not? Why not? 
So which one's hot? It's not here. This one's hot? This one's hot. That one's hot? And this one is hot. Okay. So we don't use this one. Okay. So it comes here in the middle. Bananas, yeah. then coffee, yeah. then yams yeah. down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. All have the same so basically a year and a half to grow a bunch. Yeah. Once the bunch is ready to harvest, yeah. you pick that and then that's the end of that plant. Oh, there! I, th I was thinking that was papaya. Yeah. They showed us that yesterday. Yeah. Pretty. And there we are at Wade Street at the Maasai Cultural Museum. That's funny. Photo with the guy from Bashiru Lodge. Hello. Oh, okay. I never see his boss, but he just sent the driver. <laughs> Oh, I see. Wow. Okay, so it's well, nice so. to be here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just guys, uh, <laughs> uh, the big work of the guys was his name is Simon. So, uh, the, the kid, uh, they love so much shake hand and touch you, by the way, but mm -hmm. you know, then he just let me not know. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. So, the Maasai Museum gave us a lot of information about Maasai culture, but then we got to walk through this kind of, I would say, urban, but very Maasai village, and it was great to, uh, you know, hang out with the children, but it was a real blessing to be able to listen to one of the elders or sit in one of the elders' homes as a, a Maasai, what would he be, a Maasai uh, guide took us uh, through some more information about the Maasai culture. <laughs> My entourage? Yeah, your little entourage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Silly, silly. <laughs> show them, silly, silly. Show them the picture then. We gotta see there's a house, yeah. What? At you? At you? <laughs> we have really come to love and appreciate the Maasai people. There are quite a few that work here at Dashir, and we've got to know them quite well. Hang on, it's a double. One. Oh, it's raining. You want to stand up? No. <laughs> Lorraine and I and a number of guests from Dashir got to walk through this village in Karanga, is that how we say it? In Karanga, we think that's how you say it, with the Aranga Coffee Group. And it's a fair trade coffee uh, plantation that we're going to be on the way to visit. It was a cooperative and they produce coffee for... The uh, for Norway. Yes. Yeah. And they said the leftover stuff goes to Starbucks. <laughs> Everybody now is going to get an aircut and they give you a time in the body, you just put this there. And it heals cuts? Yep, and when you seal it, you get antiseptic. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, you do have that? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find my polysporin. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so, many of yeah. us here, uh, we use it. You see, it's first of all quickly drying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for this little cuts, not those. Heavy ones. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Those heavy and ones. Where you need you, stitches. <laughs> yeah, you need stitches from the hospital. But the little ones, you can just come and quickly put there. How does it work on mosquito bites? I think I got a thorn Stitch. in my hand. Oh, we oh, have. Do you have one? Yeah. Tons of them. Where are they? All over my feet. 
Oh, <laughs> let's try no, no, it. No. <laughs> let's see. This is good. I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Because, you see? Oh, yeah? There's a mosquito bite? This is a mosquito bite. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was speaking with one doctor. Say, he say when it's getting itching mm -hmm. and make you this hole, mm -hmm. it's not inside. So you don't have chance to get malaria through this oh, okay. when you see it's getting spotted. Huh? Yes. Uh, but when it's not itching, it means that the needle is so strong inside. It oh. went deeply in. Oh. Uh, when it's but itching or not itching? When, when it's not itching. Not itching. Oh, okay. Then it's the needle. Then it went in deeper, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, because over here, <coughs> we're very lucky that we're in high elevations. Mm -hmm. guys as you can see this is coffee tree and we do have two types of coffee we have arabica and robusta the arabica coffee grow in high elevations and robusta coffee grow in low elevation low altitude so over here uh, we do have arabica coffee as the first coffee came here uh, in the very old days 1890 the production started slowly, slowly. Uh, but 1900 to 1945, the production of coffee was the best. From 45 to 61, sorry, British took over. British, they were not into the coffee. They were into the tea. So down to the uh, tea production, Coffee bean flowers from a tree that bloomed late. Into coffee beans. Huge silt tank on the ground which would collect the the, the biogas. Left over from the biogas, we took to the farm as the compost. For us here, we are all organic. We are all free. So, uh, one thing to me is 70 farmers are producing 20 tons. On this farm, it's not one. Uh, okay. Do you have one of the farms? Yes. Okay. So, uh, my father is one of the cooperative. Oh, okay. So, okay. you can see also banana provides shade. Yeah. Uh, shade to the to the coffee uh, coffee something and this is the second quality mm -hmm. it means this one is the one that we put it over there this is the one that we put it over there the good ones the the good no the second quality oh, the, second quality. the okay, good yeah. ones we kept here oh, as you oh, can oh, see okay. he's going through pick it fill up the bucket and then he's throwing them here that's the second quality that's the second quality bean for Starbucks. Ah! <laughs> for Starbucks. Yeah, that, that's true. Is that not true? Yes. Not for Norway. Uh, no, Norway is going the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. so Norway is going the good stuff. That's, that's what funny. We used to throw them away. But oh. the, thanks God that we get somebody who is still getting them. It's a tip money. Well, he's so, done a good job. Yeah. Okay. After we dried this for two weeks, uh, we put them on the huge sack, like those bags over there. Okay. Yeah. 50, 60 kilos. Yeah. And when do they get roasted? Uh, no, that, this is the second stage. Okay. This is the second stage that we will go to see to on the factory. Oh, okay. Yeah. How much? Uh, yeah, 60. On your head. Yeah. Oh, really? Piece no, no, i Yeah, piece of cake. <laughs> That's my gym every morning. Yeah. 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 Oh, so 
Well, we've done the coffee tour and now we are at the coffee roasting place. But first thing we're going to do is have some lunch together with our group. But this is so different being on uh, Mount Meru into the jungle region. And everything is so green and lush compared to the savanna. So uh, when we see, when we receive the parchment from the farmer, it's on this kind of, this kind of uh, parchment. So then what we normally do, uh, we remove the husk and this is done by the government. When they remove the husk, they get the green beans. So the green beans that they got, uh, they put it on the, to the burning place over here. Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so uh, one thing that we do, we put the green beans on the on the on the roasting machine. The temperature inside that roasting machine is between 150 to 200 centigrade. Oh, wow. So uh, we have a four different roast. Mm -hmm. We have four different roast that we normally do through that machines. We have burning roasting. Roasting. Yeah, it's a bit darker because the power went out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Smells good. Oh, actually, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 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 actually, it does smell good. Oh, it smells very good. Welcome. Thanks for joining us in today's video. We are so glad that you did, and I hope you recognize that our our whole Tanzania trip is broken into three videos, featuring on the Tashir Lodge and this one on excursions. But next video, next video, we will be heading out on safari. We are going to Terengiri National Park to Serengeti, uh, Serengeti National Park, and we're also heading to Ngorongoro Crater, uh, which oh, is also a natural conservation zone. All three very different parks, very different experiences, and lots of animals. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys what your thoughts are on these vacations and trips. We want to know if when you travel to a new country like, like this, quite different than our own, uh, do you like to take in the cultural or uh, get to know people? What do you do on a vacation like this? So next week we're planning on heading out on safari, but we also know we need to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.